click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have discussed about the extraction of zinc from zinc blend and now in this topic we are going to talk about extraction of iron from hematite. So what is the reaction behind that is and where does this reaction we are converting that is in hematite to iron. This is what I am going to talk about in this topic. <music> So friends, now we are talking about extraction of iron from hematite. So the main principle behind that is this extraction of that is iron from hematite is done on we see blast furnace. So in this case, we see the blast furnace consists of ore as well as it also consists of the other reducing agents like carbon or carbon dioxide. So therefore, the carbon and carbon dioxide these are very much helpful to to reduce the ore of iron and thereby we can obtain that is pure Fe or a crude metal of Fe. So the main principle is what I have discussed about but what is actually blast furnace and what is the role of it this is what I'm going to talk about in this topic so now let's get started with the blast furnace first so friends in this topic I'm going to talk about certain reactions which takes place in the blast furnace but now let us understand what is actually blast furnace blast furnace is basically a 25 meter height a furnace where we can find that is there are three regions that is stack Bosch and this is her so it is basically narrow at the top and a bit fat in the middle and again narrow at the bottom so this is a 25 meter height furnace which is basically 5 to 10 meter in its diameter and talking about I have mentioned about the areas and in this areas only the reaction takes place so here you can see there is there is charge that is iron ore plus coke and CaCO3 that is limestone and this is nothing but an arrangement which is known as cup and cone arrangement this arrangement is used to so this arrangement is for the intake of the ore that should be inserted in this blast furnace while it also prevents the gas or it also prevents the heat to escape from here is basically the cup and cone arrangement so suppose if it comes down then all the charge or that is basically iron ore coke and the limestone it enters in the blast furnace and whenever it goes up so therefore it will prevent all the heat that can escape from here so therefore this is known as cup and cone arrangement so this is nothing but stack and this is basically the lining of hard fire bricks which are which act like a heat resistant bricks and this is basically covering all the blast furnaces throughout here and this is the main part that is the tires this tires is actually a source where we can get a blast hot air that can enter in this blast furnace and thereby converting those over into a particular crude metal so and talking about the next thing that is this is the fusible slag that is what we can obtain and this is the molten iron where we can obtain so in this case the fusible slag is actually above the surface of the molten iron and this can be separated out and that is how basically we can obtain the molten iron and then we can purify it and that is how basically we can get that is iron pure iron but this was nothing but a small description that how the reaction occurs but what are the reactions that occurs in this blast furnace this is what I want to talk about so let us understand the reaction behind the extraction of iron from hematite so there are different steps through which we can convert hematite into iron so in that case the first one that is we have to do concentration concentration is nothing but removal of the impurity and in that case basically this hematite ore are basically crushed into a size of one inch and that is one inch in its that is area and this are the ores which are basically crushed ores this crushed ores are basically taken in a gravity separator and thereby we can remove all the extra impurities and thereby those ores can be passed for the further process and that is nothing but roasting so what is roasting we understand that is it is nothing but the heating of the ore at a higher temperature below its melting point in excess amount of oxygen so in that case because of the ore consists of impurities so suppose if the impurities is nothing but suppose sulfur so in that case sulfur it will react with oxygen so as to form that is SiO2 and therefore in this process we can remove the impurity that is sulfur in the form of sulfur dioxide talking about the other impurities like arsenic even the arsenic can be combined with the oxygen and that is how basically we can remove that is As2O3 as basically as a gaseous material but here we have to balance it so for that I am balancing it here not only arsenic there will be other impurities like phosphorus that is p4 so whenever p4 is reacted with that is 5 moles of oxygen so therefore it would be eliminated in the form of that is p4 o10 so therefore these are the impurities that is what 
we can remove wherever that ore is undergoing through a roasting process but not only that the ore that is what we have suppose that ore consists of that is feo so that feo even that will be reacted with oxygen so in that case basically four moles of feo that is ferric oxide it will react with oxygen so as to obtain that is two moles of fe2o3 that is known as ferric oxide and now this ferric oxide will play a very vital role in obtaining that is iron so therefore this was the roasting process that takes place and now let us understand about the next topic and this is how basically we are going to convert this fe2o3 into iron so now let us understand the next step so the next step is smelting so in this case as we have understood that is the roasted ore that is we have basically roasted those ore and that is how basically we have removed all these impurity but in that case we have also obtained that is Fe2O3 that is ferric oxide. So now this ferric oxide whenever it is been treated with carbon because we have also inserted ore along with that of carbon. So that carbon it will be very much helpful in reducing this Fe2O3 thereby we can obtain that is iron that is two moles of iron we have to balance it along with that of we could get that is carbon monoxide but the thing is we have to balance this carbon also so therefore three moles of carbon it will be used thereby we can obtain three moles of carbon monoxide so this is how basically we can get a crude metal that also in a molten form but before the reaction occurs it should be noted that is the blast furnace should have that is around 1000 kelvin of temperature before any kind of charge is basically introduced in it and talking about the the ratio of the ore coke and lime so that is what we are using so suppose if you are considering ore suppose if you are considering ore and suppose if we are also considering coke and it is limestone then the ratio should be it should be 12 5 and three so therefore this is the ratio that is what we have to maintain and then only we can obtain that is a crude metal and in this case it is nothing but cast iron so related to the reaction that takes place at various regions in the blast furnace that is what i'm going to talk about in next topic but for now it is sufficient to understand that is how obviously we can convert an hematite into that is crude iron so that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much